listening to music, appreciating music, appreciating music that maybe isn't part of the daily life, and then also appreciating music that is part of everyday life and realizing that there's stuff to learn from it, even though it may not be popular or if it is really popular. You know, there's a lot said in the Bible about music and praising God as we play instruments and band, giving glory to God, as we sing in the choir, giving glory to God as we learn. Starting in fifth grade, students can be in band, so that is an extra. Uh, they can choose to be in band, and in fourth grade, they can start to be in choir. So those are just kind of extra experiences that students can choose to be a part of. At, here at Heritage, we can talk about God through music and relating to our music or other places that we can't do that. In the art department, uh, in art class, for all the grades, we're exposing students to a variety of uh, art styles, of uh, uh, art supplies, uh, helping them to be creative in a number of different ways. Um, and each, each year builds on each other. I think spiritual goals, um, we can go back at like, God is a creator, God is a, a creating God. So uh, from scripture, we can see that as God creates, he's created uh, people to then go and create and be uh, creative and, and come up with things and, and create art. So uh, that's a cool thing in the art room. We can uh, look at who God's created us to be and we can, because we're created, to turn around and create things. We can use our brains to create something really special. Uh, special projects, some of our upper grades uh, each year will do a, a special project and that might include uh, sometimes some field trips uh, locally. Uh, there's a number of art uh, exhibits in downtown Canton. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's special because uh, maybe students at home don't have access all the time to the art supplies uh, that we can use here. So I think it's a really unique opportunity for kids to come to school um, in a class that's a little different from the rest of their day um, and they can get exposed to all those kind of supplies and the types of projects we're doing uh, and, and really dive into something that might be new for them. Every single time the kids come to art, they, they're learning something. They're, they're, again, they're trying. Uh, they're trying something new. And I would just say uh, there's something really powerful, I think, about parents who can encourage that exploration, that uh, learning uh, these new skills and learning and, and trying to see the world around them and trying to put that into something that they're making. Um, so. You seeing that time in art class is not just like wasted like play time, but as a, a really impactful time where they can grow, I think is it, what makes art class really special. Uh, there are lots of important things to gain from uh, using the standards in PE, uh, like having motor skills for the younger kids and moving forward with the older kids being able to apply it into performance and uh, what they're learning and what they can do as a, a group in social activities. They're learning different games. They're learning how to share, how to respect each other. So like using those words. The goals in PE are going to be revolving around working together and having Christian values to know how to act together and work together in a, as a team sport or an individual and knowing that there's a there's something to learn from PE that they can use in any day activities. We are learning different games. We are learning how to be respectful in the game towards ourselves and others. I believe Heritage Christian School is just a blessing to have uh, Christian values embedded into the academics. It's just so important to know that the kids are getting a fair and lovable treatment and uh, in a community of Christian values. I'm excited to learn different ways to implement health benefits with PE because it's physical education, so their bodies and how they can maintain that in a healthy Christian value and also healthy physical value of knowing how to be in shape and within the national standards of how to be able to maintain that going forward.